Hi folks, do big catfish still exist in the waters out there today? With agricultural runoff, pollution, commercial fishing, and recreational fishing uh, at a possibly close to an all-time high, are there still big fish out there in the water? I'm speaking today specifically of the Ohio River. Thanks for joining me today, folks. I am Brad, your host, and this is We Be Fishing, the viewable podcast right here on YouTube. It's a spinoff version of the BNT Catfishing Adventures channel. Folks, I've fished the Ohio River for many, many years, and I've caught some really, really nice fish out there over that time period. But are there still big fish out there in our rivers today? Well, you would think with all the things that I just mentioned, that it, it's definitely a no. Um, you know, the commercial fishing is really sometimes uh, overfishing and catching our super large fish, many times to give to pay lakes and things of this nature. Uh, and commercial fishing, or excuse me, recreational fishing is really up and putting a lot more pressure on catching these fish. Now, a lot of times these big fish are caught and uh, they're not returned back to the water. They're kept and destroyed um, and they're not able to reproduce or continue to grow. Now, again, populate or pollution and uh, like I said, talked about earlier, the agricultural runoff. You would think there is no way on earth that we're still having big fish out in our waters today. Well, I will tell you, I was fortunate enough uh, about a weekend or two ago now to uh, attend a fishing tournament weigh-in. Uh, they fished right there on the Ohio, and I was able to sit and watch and view these fish being brought in and weighed. Uh, there's a few people I know that were fishing the tournament, and uh, so I, I definitely wanted to see what was going on what they were bringing in now the bag limits they were uh, i think uh, allowed three fish bag limits and they brought these fish in and uh there was a lot of fish in the 20 pound range which is not a bad fish uh but it's not for instance a, a huge blue cat now there were some 30 pounders uh, i saw a 50 something pound fish. Now we're starting to talk, right? Uh, when you're in the 50 pound range. But what everybody was very, very pleased to see, especially the team that brought this in, was an 86, 86 plus pound blue catfish right there out of the Ohio. Yep, that's right. The biggest fish since this tournament circuit has been run by the, the newer owners over the last three years. And uh, needless to say, that fish won the Big Fish Award as well. As a matter of fact, I think the team, uh, it was a two-day event. I think they caught some decent fish the next day. It was enough to go ahead and win the tournament. So, with 40s, 50s, and 86 pound fish out there and all brought in in just one day in a relatively small area we'll say uh, that's a great indication that the big fish folks are still there right now obviously we can do a better job and of main maintaining those fish or making sure that we do have a, a good fishery for a long time to come let's make sure we're keeping our rivers as clean as possible by not trashing them uh, and trying to reduce the, the runoff uh, from the agricultural lands and stuff. If, if there's some way we can do that or do something that's more safe uh, there agriculturally uh, than some of the pesticides and things that have been used over the years that are going into these rivers. Uh, again, the commercial fishermen, hopefully we can get closer or better restrictions on some of that uh, and, uh, and and maybe help with that. 
again, in our part, as far as many of those recreational fishermen out there, let's be very conservation minded. When we're catching these super large fish, yeah, we want to get them weighed if you're, if you're looking at getting a record, or even your personal best a lot of times. But let's try and maintain uh, the quality of these fish in, in their lives by making sure they're oxygenated uh, and, and handled properly. And then let's return these fish back to the water. Put them back out there. Uh, let them go. Let them grow, right? And uh, you might be able to catch a bigger fish later on. Uh, and, uh, and that's the thing. It takes many, many years, 40 plus years a lot of times, to get these fish to that size. And uh, we want to make sure uh, that we continue to have good quality fish of good genes in the water, reproducing and continuing to grow so we can all have a chance at catching some of these bigger fish. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please go ahead and like us. Uh, hit that subscribe button uh, and the notification bell there as well. We would definitely appreciate it. When you do so, you not only get the We Be Fishing channel right here, you get the BMT Catfishing Adventures channel as well. That's right, we're all rolled up into together. So. Uh, please go ahead and, and do that, and we would greatly appreciate it. Folks, everybody have a wonderful day, and uh, tight lines to you, and we hope to see you right back here real soon at We Be Fishing. You guys, take care. Mm -hmm.